on YouTube, how are you doing? I'm here at Cadwell Park and we're going to do the first of hopefully many what's it like to drive on track videos. Now I'm sat here in a red K20 Civic EG, a car which obviously I'm quite familiar with. I used to own one, I've got plenty of friends who have had these cars and Joe has still got his and that's the one that we're in today. So quick basic spec, it's a Civic EG with a K20 engine from an EP3 Civic Type R. Nothing too drastic other than a map and the usual RBC inlet. We've got an EP3 gearbox with a Kaz plated 1.5 way LSD. We've got Nankang AR1 tires, 225 front, 205 rear. We're at Cadwell Park. I'm not gonna do too much on the intro, um, but quickly just on the format of these videos, introduce the car, go out for a track session with text along the bottom just to say what it is I'm uh, doing or what it is I'm thinking you know we'll, we'll we'll address some of the cars the track time in itself we're gonna go out for about 10 minutes and I'm hoping to keep the track time in complete full kind of a bit like a smoking tire one take in that effect when we're on track I'm hoping to keep it in in complete full without any cuts and then after we've done our track time we'll return to the driver's seat I'll pick the camera up and I'll give you some thoughts about how I felt the car drove. So this is the first of hopefully many videos, like I said, we're starting in a Civic EG with a dodgy steering wheel, but everything else is pretty good. We've still got the Bobby Dazzlers on, if you remember from my left foot brake video. Uh, the cameras today, I'm gonna have a GoPro here just so you can see where we're going, and I'm gonna have a pedal cam as well, cause I think we're gonna be doing some left foot braking. I've got my best new balance on, of course, so, all that's left to do is to get the cameras set up and get out there. So let's do it. All right, K20 Civic. What's it like to drive?
Oh, that was fun. Apart from the seatbelt being up near my fucking rib cage, which I definitely adjusted beforehand, but also a lot of issues with the gears, you might have noticed. But we'll talk about that in a second. Let's get the camera out. What was it like to drive? I bet it looked like a lot of fun from where you were sitting. Right then, chap. So what was it like to drive a, a K20 EG on track again? We can say again, obviously, I've driven these kind of cars, even my own red K20 EG I drove on track a couple of times as well. So what was it like? Well, there's something special about these cars and if you've been following the channel for a few years, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All that you can see, all the you know emotions that the car sends through to you is exactly what I'm feeling through the steering wheel. You've got so much control, you've got so much speed. It's just a great place to be on track in one of these cars. Now this car in particular, you might have noticed I was struggling with the gears slightly. There was one time where I was coming out of the bottom corner where I didn't quite grab second and yeah, there's there no forward motion at all when I put, put the throttle down which was a bit sketchy. <laughs> And there's another time where I didn't get fourth, which again was, was very sketchy and I didn't enjoy that at all. So I kind of drove round that slightly. I started just being a bit more assertive when I was putting the car into gear. We've got one of these Bobby Dazzler Magpie shifters, the shiny, shiny ones. And you know, they're not my favorite, but you know, Joe's had the gearbox apart recently and he reckons the synchros are all good, so I don't know if there's something going wrong with the shifter or the cables maybe, but if I was just a bit more assertive when changing gear, everything was fine. Um, it's also very interesting to drive a car without power steering, because I've not done this for a long time. Now just coming out of the pits and everything, fucking hell it feels heavy, it feels so heavy the steering. And we've got 225 Nankang AR1 tyres. Um, we're only in the light car, the car weighs 920 kilos, we weighed it just last year. So it's not a heavy car and not the widest tyres, but chuffing hell, it, it does feel heavy. Now when you're out on track, that all translates into just having the most feel for the road that you'll ever have. We're only on standard um, tie rod and tie rod ends with just normal ball joints there, there's nothing fancy going on there. But you do get such a great deal of steering feel, so that's really nice. The pedals are fucking actually really good we spoke about the pedals before in my left foot braking video and the response of the engine when you're downshifting you, you, you've heard it yourself but you know because I'm quite used to driving the MR2 which has the original flywheel and, and the E46 which has a big dual mass flywheel to have such a response when blipping down gears is it feels super special and it just feels right it just feels natural it just feels feels good um, so I'm real happy with that you may have also noticed I was struggling a little bit with these harnesses. These are Takata harnesses, but I, I thought I really did uh, strap up the bottom nice and tight before I went out, but um, I'm not sure what happened, but I ended up with, with the harnesses kind of around here area, and I was gonna pull in, but I thought well, I should have really pulled in, because that's obviously very dangerous. If I was to have a crash, then that would be bad news for my ribs and for any organs that are sitting behind there, so. Yeah, that was that was more of a me problem than, than the car. I, I thought I set them up just right, but they, they you know, they, they came a little bit loose, which was, yeah, slightly less than ideal to use that phrase again. But yeah, just driving the car was great. I had a lot of fun. Um, hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you've got any questions or comments about the car, make sure you, uh, well, you know where the comments section is. If you wanna, you wanna ask anything about the car, or you wanna talk about civics, that's where to go. Thanks again to everyone who supported me on Patreon and everyone who's bought a t-shirt. Really appreciate that. I'll have to get some, some more myself for these videos, won't I? I'll have to start, start wearing them in the videos. Um, but yeah, thanks again for everyone on that. Um, it's time to, to end on this video, so I hope you've enjoyed watching. Is there, is there anything else I can say about the car? Well, Joe thought it was really soft, but I thought it was really nice. I didn't, I didn't feel any, he was telling me it feels a bit baggy and he, has, he had his dampers on the, the full stiff and I thought, what the fuck are you doing man? So I wound them down a bit before going out, um, slightly stiffer on the rear than the front and I thought it felt great and the cars, that's one thing I should say actually before we end, the cars play a diff, or any, any play a diff, they're just fucking amazing and in a car like this with, you know, you've already got a really good base with the double wishbone suspension and everything like that. The way this thing pulls itself out of corners, just like my Integra did of course, because that had the same, or a similar diff. Um, 
there's just no feeling like it. It's really good, it's great. So if you get an opportunity to drive one of these cars, highly recommend it. So yeah, that's the first one of my What's It Like To Drive On Track videos. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. It was certainly a good one to film, a good place to start. And I look forward to doing many more of these videos in the future. So if you like seeing stuff like this, make sure you're subscribed, like the video and all that stuff if you want. But yeah, that's all from me and the Civic EG. Thanks again for Joe for letting me take it out. It's been a good day. I was racing at Brands yesterday and I had today off to uh, to chill out, but here we are at Cadwell Park, eh? I shouldn't complain about that. It's pretty cool, right? So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed watching the video and I will see you in the next one.